So here um, we're measuring an inductor. So I have a little uh, ferrite rod inductor. You can see the ferrite rod and here's the coil over it. And I have a DC power supply that's biasing that inductor at 1 amp. And that's going into the line modulator. So we're using a J2121 modulator to put a modulated AC voltage on top of that current. We're measuring the current from the Hall effect sensor built into the modulator here in uh, channel 5. And we're measuring the modulated voltage here in channel 1. And if we divide the voltage divided by the current, well, that's impedance. And then we'll be able to see the inductance with DC bias current in it. So let's run that and see how it looks. So here at low frequency, down around 100 hertz, the hall sensor is kind of noisy, but still we can see that's about zero degrees. And here's the DC resistance of our measurement. And now it's going to start becoming inductive. We can see the, the phase increasing here as it becomes more and more inductive. And we're just about to hit 90 degrees. And so 90 degrees is uh, fully inductive at that point. And now you'll see the phase will flatten out there up until we start to get close to resonance of the inductor and when we do you'll see the phase will start to change again and so you can see the phase has just started to increase now because we're approaching the serious resonance of the inductor but there you go see where we we're approaching the resonance there but didn't quite hit it yet and that's how easy it is to measure an inductor with dc bias in it